Mindy, that's a really good question. Uh, my favorite storyline, I think, um, was probably with Philip uh, very early on when they fell in love and had a big romp in the hotel and, uh, and Alan was trying to get her pregnant and it was just a great father-son, you know, triangle with just classic story, classic soap story. So yeah, I think that's my favorite storyline. It's funny question, Pat, because uh, I have learned that I can sleep anywhere, and it really started about seven years ago when my first child was born. Uh, so I've learned to, from the moment we hit the runway until we land, I am probably asleep for a good couple of hours in between there. So no worries there. Um, I'm often lagged, jet lagged at the end of each journey for like 12 hours, but beyond that, I'm living in my own time zone, really. Well, thanks, Dottie. Um, uh, you know, I, we have great hair department. They, you know, know what to do with it. They color it, they cut it. I'm very lucky. Um, you know, I have a lot of hair, so when I have to come in and get a blow dry, it takes a good, you know, 20, 25 minutes. So they might not like it, but they make me look good. So thanks. Yes, Kathy B. Uh, you know, I consider myself to be, you know, mostly sane and, and reasonable and, yeah, I'm, you know, friendly and. So it's not always easy being mean, you know, but it, I, I, first of all, I love the people that I work with and I get paid to do this. And, um, and if I had a choice to play a nice character or a mean character, I would, I would, you know, if it's that black and white, I would go with the mean because it's cathartic in a way. You can sort of get it out on camera, get a paycheck for it and go home and be nice to your friends and family. <laughs> so it's fun. It's a fun, fun role. You're a straight Judah, George. I like that very much. Um, can she uh, ever be nice? Um, I think so. I think she can be nice to people that you know she likes in that particular moment. Um, but um, you know, I'm I'm the foil. I'm the girl who is messed up. And if not for Olivia, the Jeffries and Rivas wouldn't be together, and these other people wouldn't be together because they're so repelled by her. <laughs> But she's also such a great manipulator that she has to keep the rooting couple apart. And if you don't have that, you have a bunch of nice, happy people on your camera, on your TV. So I don't think she's going to be nice all the time. Sorry, George. Hey, Charlie, are you saying that she's a slut? I mean, really, let's get to the... She is. She's a big slut, um, like most of the people in Springfield, really. But, uh, you know... I don't know who I want to see her with. I, I, I love to see a love story with her where somebody actually loves her back and there's something else there besides, you know, devious acts and sex. But um, I don't know. I guess if I had to pick someone, I, I like playing with Alan. I think he's nasty and fun and Philip was certainly sexy and fun and I don't know. It has to be with, but she has to be with somebody who's um, got a, an edge to them, you know, shirtless, I don't know, pantless. <laughs> Diana, thanks for the compliment. Um, you know, it takes a team of people to put this package together. <laughs> I mean, like, at least a dozen. Um, but that's a very nice compliment. Thank you. Um, I, I like Dior beauty products, moisturizers, and um, um, but you know what? The best thing I've learned is just because I fly so much is to drink a lot of water. I do it to the point where, you know, you got to be near a bathroom. And um, uh, sun, you know, you got to put sunblock on. And I'm especially learning that with my hands because my hands, I'm, I'm an older person. They're starting to look a little weathered. So uh, sunblock is really, really important. Sonia, good question. 
I don't know if I want to give this away because it's almost better that people think that, you know, there's like this off-screen feud. It's so much more interesting, isn't it? Maybe we can make a tabloid. It would be so much fun. Um, no, we, you know, Kim and I uh, get along extremely well together. And I think that's, that's why we can be such uh, horrible people to each other on camera. I mean, you would see the tension if it was there, if we really didn't get along. And instead, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to have somebody to hit the ball back and forth with. And, um, and Kim's a broad, and she's a good kisser. So, yeah, we get along just great. Well, thank you for bringing questions to me. And please keep them coming, because I just like hearing what you have to say. Peace out.